All right, welcome everyone to Sunday Sesh. Happy New Year's. Hope you guys are doing wonderful. Um, yeah, it's, it's, I'm in Florida visiting family and it's, uh, it's so nice to be back home um, for me. Uh, it's, it's been a long journey. This is year number seven for me in the cannabis industry. And um, I find that family is important. Like where I'm sitting right now is where I got started in the industry, right? Uh, when I got started with CBD, I was right here. I started um, learning all that I can about industry. I started doing yoga right here. Um, like my sister was taking photos of me right here in the grass. And like for me just to be here, it's surreal because I, it's like yesterday, right? And um, I got into this space for my pain. Um, but uh, I, I wanted to figure out like, hey, how can I make this better for myself and for my family? And that's with the business. So uh, I want to dedicate today to Erica. So thank you for joining us, Erica. Um, and one of the things that I learned in industry is use what I know. So I've been thinking about it the last couple of weeks, right? I've been like depressed. I've been on low. It's winter, um, you guys know, especially in Maryland and Virginia. At four o'clock, it's not getting dark. And for me, um, this year is affecting me more because the previous year um, I was in the school and I was in the basement. So I didn't get to see when the cha time changed. I was just in this like this hustle mode. And so as I slowed down, because things have been happening for me where I can finally slow down and do better things, right? It's, um, it's changing me. And so it's been bugging me. Um, Winter time is normally like depressing for me. It's just, it's always been like that. Um, and then two, being away from family is even uh, worse for me, right? So um, Mimea, Sunday Sesh, everything we've been doing here when it comes to um, cannabis is being about community and building family. And community is what we need to survive, right? Um, so I'm excited for this year because I have opportunity to teach four events in New York on job creation and business development um, in Harlem. And so it's, for me, it's like, hey, what do I do to help others that I was able to? So I've been thinking, I'm like, what's the best way to educate people, right? Is to show them what I went through. So for those of you who don't know, my background is um, coding, right? I wouldn't be here today if I didn't take an apprentice. So those of you watching, like, jump into the industry, learn, like you don't have to pay somebody, you don't have to make money, but jump into it when you have free time to learn, like get around people, go to events. And for me, I took opportunity to be an apprentice in coding up in Boston. And that led me to being in New York and working in, for Saturday Night Live, um, Beth Israel, which ended up, uh, the hospital I worked for, ended up doing the surgery for my hands because of military injuries, because the VA didn't um, do what, he was going to do for me, right? And so all those things coupled to me being here. And so what I learned, uh, started in 2000, I think it was 2007, I think I believe it was, um, at nighttime, I started doing um, my own little business. So I got, back then I got a DBA. I didn't know what LLC was. So I got a DBA and I was paying my own self taxes. And I started doing websites for other people, doing computer work for other people. So the same thing apply for you guys when it comes to cannabis, those of you who want to get in the space, whether it's a job or a business, right? Figure out what you love doing. So Erica, she's a librarian. Um, for me, that speaks to me because I, um, I'm educated, right? Like for us, libraries where we grew up, like prior to the internet. And so information is power, information is knowledge. And you want to learn as much as you can and then give it back. So what I did was uh, in the nights, some... Fridays, I was up to like one o'clock in the morning, two o'clock in the morning, writing content. Uh, once I got into CBD, right, I started like learning, hey, what does CBD does, right? How does it affect me? Um, and I came into the space for, for pain management for my, both my wrists. So both my wrists are, are damaged, but I'm grateful that CBD and cannabis helped me. So the biggest thing I realized was about six months in, I uh, had like this I don't know, it felt, I just changed in me, right? Something like something just clicked in my head. And I realized, dang, baby, man, you had anxiety all this time. I started getting more calm. I felt like the, like I was at a cloud above me. And then the cloud kind of like dissipated a little bit and it started disappearing more. And that's when I had the moment like, oh my gosh, um, CBD 
is wonderful, right? Because I was just taking it for the pain. And so I just continued learning. And over the years, I've just learned as much as I can, learn about what's like, for example, CBN, right? For um, sleep, CBC for pain. And those things helped me to evolve. And it's been seven years, so seven long years. Um, I don't, any money that comes in, comes in from the business goes back into the business, right? I'm not chasing money because I want to help people. And for me, I'm a little weird. I see the future. I, I, I live in the future. So I've kind of seen what my life is going to be. And I, it's been happening. Everything that's happened in my life has been coming through is what I've seen in my dreams. And so that's because I'm not chasing money. I want to learn. I want to get ex as much exposure as I can so I can make myself better. And once I can make myself better, then I can help others, right? And in that process, I started um, the business uh, because I knew like, hey, Bevan, uh, how do I want to grow and not work for myself the rest of my life? Um, because all my life, I've been around millionaires. Like something I don't really talk about much. I I've been trying to get it more open um, because I didn't know like how to express that. Like I got to men be mentored by millionaires. I got to see them make like spend $10,000 and make $500,000 within a year, right? And those things changed me. I got to like see the world. I got to go to events. I got to go to high museums, restaurants. I got to network with people. And so for me, that helped me a lot in my, in my business now because um, as an introvert, I'm able to talk to people where I need to, where it fits to me, right? I, I'm selective in who I talk to when I go to events because I'm like, hey, for example, I may go to an expo and for me being an educator, I go to like lab people, right? People who can help me with testing products. So I, when I talk to about, hey, how do we read a lab report? I, I know what I'm talking about and I can reference the information. Um, I go talk to all the scientists, right? The business people, um, because those things I want to go. So if you say, hey, um, I want to sell products, then I recommend you going to anyone who makes products or go talk to the vendors and say, hey, um, what do you like? What, what do you like about vending here? Like, talk to me about your business. Some people may tell you no, or they may throw, um, push you away, but you have to keep going, right? And so as now I'm in a position to educate a grander scale because we've been supported now by Cornell University, um, Workforce Development, um, Harlem Business Alliance, which is uh, a black um, owned business that's been there since the 80s and they do so much for Harlem, right? For me to be around them is it's a wonderful um, way to give back. So part of the what we have to do is say, how do we create jobs? And then how do we create business? So for me, I say start, if you wanna start, start as a job, right? Um, you wanna be a butt tender, you want, you're a photographer like me, I have all my equipment here, right? I, got, I learned how to use my camera, my mic, I learned how to edit because I wanted to be a well-rounded person. And so, for example, a photographer, um, I'll learn everything about my camera. I'll learn everything about graphic, graphic design. And then I will say, hey, um, if I'm using for CBD, I get some products. And that's how I got started. So I was, when I was reviewing products, I was taking photos of the products and I was posting it online and tagging the brands and I was doing reviews. So me using my equipment and my photography and videography skills helped me um, develop my business because now I'm able to create content for myself and I'm not needing anyone else. I could do a lot of the things I can do by myself and they helped me so really well. So as a photographer, um, take content photos, right? Send it to people like stuff like that you could do for free because it helps you like, man, you don't know like how much mistakes you'll make that will help you grow as a person, right? If you do, if you're a model, there's so much product you can do as a model. You can model t-shirts, you can, you can model products by hand right? As a business, if I have a CBD business, as, as let's say I sell topicals, I'm going to need somebody to take photos of those things for my brand because it needs to be po posted on social media. Social media is a free platform. There's free platforms for you to grow your brand, right? Totally free. All you have to do is just do the work. So for me, learn what you want to do. You want to grow, learn how to grow, grow at home, right? If you're in New York, you're in Maryland, you're in Virginia, you can grow now. And so grow, 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 spend time growing, you'll need to buy a, a big um, tent. Like for me, I post, you guys go check my, uh, on Mimea. I have a little black box. I use two um, buckets that you get from, from like Lowe's uh, Home Depot. I recommend getting the black ones with the yellow top. They, they, they're stronger. I cut a hole at the top. I have my light. 
on the top of it, I got a uh, Infinity. Um, it was one hundred and fifty dollars for the for the for the, for the light, and then I put some holes on the side with um, little fans, so I got my input for the air and then the output, and then I have another fan in there on the side that clipped on for the airflow. Um, because you know, like if you're watching me, the, the wind is moving behind here, and so you, you need an airflow. And then I have for me because it's a small, I have three small plants in one gallon pots, and I'm growing, and they look wonderful, right? And so by experimenting with that. I'm able to learn how to grow. And for me, um, not just because I'm, I'm not wanting to be a grower per se for my long term, but if you have a business, I highly recommend you all to learn everything you can. Learn to grow, learn what CBD is, learn what CBN, CBC, learn about the terpenes, because as a business and as a um, employee, the, the people you help needs that information, right? There's nothing worse than, and I've personally seen this because like me being black, I, I blend in, right? And you guys, sometimes you'll see me like I'm wearing a, I love CBD shirt right now. So I want to dress up when I really want to. I was in the military for eight years and um, <laughs> I don't want to be in corporate, right? I don't want to wear that suit. Like I wear a suit when I need to, but I, I just comfortable. Uh, and I think that's has to do too, because I'm from the Caribbean. Like we really lay back. Nobody really wears suits unless you're a politician, right? So I blend in, I wanted stores, I asked questions. And I found out most of the bud tenders, the uh, people with customer service, they have no idea what they're selling, right? You may go to a bud tender and say, hey, um, I'm looking for a strain for pain. And they're just gonna tell you, hey, well, I smoke this, right? This is what I smoke every day. And they give it to you. And then you go smoke and you fall asleep, right? Or you may be wide awake in the middle of the night and then you can't sleep, right? So being whatever for job or business, understanding the plant, understanding what it does for you, the benefits, help you, and then you also able to help others. Um, and this, because as a, from a job perspective, if, you're, if your employees are not educating the, the customers, that means you're gonna be losing money. Your customer will not come back to you, they're gonna go to your neighbor, because your neighbor is, is um, educating them and answering their questions. Like, hey, what's the difference between full spectrum, broad spectrum, and CBD isolate? Full spectrum is the full plant. It has all the terpenes, all the cannabinoids, especially THC. And in hemp, it's less than or equal to 0.3%, yeah, right? Um, broad spectrum has the THC removed, right? You may have some CBN, some CBC in there, depending on what uh, the formulation is. And then CBD isolate is just CBD isolated by itself. So this is like how you, you educate people. And then they actually, well, Bevan, why uh, the difference between the three? Well, then it depends on you, right? If you have, a, if you're a nurse, you're, you're a cop, you're a firefighter, you're in the military, um, you can't take full spectrum because you get drug tested. THC, whether it's 0.3%, 0.1%, 0.05%, 0.05%, at some point, if you're smoking or taking the tinctures, after six months, it builds up in your system. And this is based on me just being out there learning all these things, right? It, it's in your system. So when you do a, a blood test, piss test, it, 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 will, it will show up in your drug test. Right, so you say, hey, broad spectrum, but if you really, really want to um, make sure that 99.9% um, able to pass a drug test, you say CBD isolate. And um, don't, uh, I always tell people like, hey, um, there's always that point, you no know, 1% that you may pop on a drug test, but it's something you have to be aware of, right? And then you leave it up to the customer. So by educating them and telling them that, they'll be like, oh man, Thank you so much. This is what I've experienced. They're like, thank you so much, Bevan, for teaching me these things because I'm not learning these things. And all the stuff you can find on um, CBD.how. So go to www.cbd.how or mimea.co, right? And those, I find that I'm grateful that I took the opportunity to learn everything because it helps me become a well-rounded person, which I'm able to give back freely to everyone. And so for those of you who want to get in the industry as a business, like, go for it. So the best benefit I can tell you about having your own business is freedom. Like me right now, I'm here in Florida. Uh, you know, thanks to the business, I'm able to travel. Um, like I said, going to New York, business pays for that, right? And sponsors pay for that. Like a lot of people think like traveling is expensive. If you book it early, my ticket to New York was $30, right? You know, I got a $6 off because I'm a veteran. $36 um, to New York, I went Granted, was I leave like a Tuesday or Wednesday, um, not on a Friday or Monday. 
but I took Amtrak. I could see an Amtrak for seven hours. I don't got to drive. I don't got to hurt my hands. I can mingle with people. I can get up. I can walk around. There's a nice bathroom, right? Um, and I can read. I can sleep. And that freedom, you know, the business provides me to be able to do that, right? I can leave my messages. Uh, and once I'm able to have my freedom, because for me, my freedom is my rent is paid. My bills, the minimum bills I paid because I got rid of all my debt. I don't have a car. So I'm not worrying about spending $500 to $1,000 for a car, maintenance, gas, all these things, right? That's freedom for me. The freedom to wake up in the morning, do my yoga. I normally don't start work until like 12 o'clock unless there's something like an emergency or I just wake up and I'm like super energized, right? Especially after Sundays. Uh, like tomorrow, I probably wake up early tomorrow and just do some work because, well, I know I was told, um, Brittany told me not to do any work today, right? So um, I'm listening to her, but normally Sunday sesh allows me to feel so good. When well, we're on Monday morning, I feel amazing. And that's because I have my freedom. I have my freedom. My mind is not a stress for working for somebody else, right? I work for myself. And that's the biggest benefit of having a business. So my, my recommendation and advice to all of you out there is figure out what your needs are. If it costs you $2,000, you know, to live your life and not have to stress, then that's amazing because everything else after that is a positive, right? Imagine, like I said, your rent paid for, you know, your food is paid for. Like, what else do you really need? Like, I don't go buy stuff, right? Because I have no need for that thing, those things. Those things don't make me happy. Helping people doesn't make me happy. And once I'm able to make people happy, then I can focus on, okay, now that I am even, what do I need to do with my business to make more money now to scale to bring in employees right to um, help other people create businesses to help others um, by traveling by doing free classes right these are the things that help make me happy like i am the most happy when i'm helping others um i've always been like that um and i know just from being spiritual growing up in in the church that giving back to others is what makes us happy this is what we're here for uh, at the end of the day we are all one people, right? We are all part of one. Um, from my understanding of, of the way we are, who we are, we are the true source. The source is one being, right? Some people say God, some people say Allah, right? It doesn't matter what religion you are. There's something created us, created this world. And so we are all part of one. And so being able to help each other brings us closer to who we are. And so uh yeah man Woo, that was a lot right uh it's been i'm so super glad to be here in uh back home like family is everything right we work hard for our family we work hard to be able to give our kids and those up um around us something like there's no for me i know i'm gonna make my millions i already feel it i already i already see it happening right and so what am I gonna do with that? Give it to my family, right? Have my family come up, right? There's nothing worse than me sitting here and watching people struggle, right? Being able to help others, whether it's the homeless, um, give back to, um, like we had a toy drive um, in December, even though I wasn't in LA, James was, and it took us a minute to say, hey, uh, man, let's do this, let's do this. I was so loud, like, let's do this. We ended up raising $5,000 in, in, in uh, monetary donations and also toys. And we helped over 300 kids, 300 families for Christmas to have a wonderful Christmas and have toys, right? Because we know, like, some of us who grew up, you know, with less, those of you who grew up poor can understand, like, hey, sometimes on Christmas you have no toy. I may have, like, one little toy, uh, that feeling, right? So to see those happy faces brings me joy. It, um, it brings joy to others. And that's... Like, because I have a business, that's because I went after what I want. Like, had I work, I was working nine to five, I'd be stressed out. Like, because I'd be like, man, I got to go um, buy all these things, spend all this money to make people happy. And then come first of a uh, week of January, I got to get back on the grind to pay for all this debt I just, I just spent for the holidays. But having a business allowed me to help others, right? And it allowed me to grow because money isn't real, right? Like, if you go to the bank and you say, hey, um, and yet a loan for ten thousand dollars. All they do is complete the computer. You get that. You get that number, and all of a sudden you have ten thousand dollars in your bank account. Now you have to stretch yourself, and, and you're in debt to pay off that money, right? And you're gonna kill yourself a job, 
um, just to pay that money off. When having a business, you can always replenish that money because the business helps others. And when you help others, others help you back by giving you that fake money, right? Uh, and for me, um, this is why, like for you, Erica, like the library studies are wonderful because that's how I got to learn, right? About the world, like, I think always about, man, I mean, school was different back then. Like everything was about trade. Like, so when I was in the military, I went to like Turkey, right? And to see what, how this silk trade asks questions, all the spices, back then people traded stuff, right? So if I'm, um, I had, let's say I had gold or like I had sheep and I needed spices, I needed food, I needed uh, milk, I traded things, right? Um, for for um, from others, and that's how we survive as a people. And so for us, we need to get back to that. So, Erica, I hope um, this uh, today was eye opening for you. Um, if you have any questions, you know I'm always here to ask to help guide you. Uh, those of you who are there, um, same. I'm, we are here for you. Um, for me, um, it's easier to do that on me, Mayor, um, because being on social media is I have a, I have multiple channels, right? And to keep up with that is super hard. So Mime is the, the community that we, uh, we built for you to come ask questions, um, continue to support us on there. And uh, yeah, oh man, um, I'm super grateful for you guys. Thank you guys for uh, rocking with me. Thank you for those of you, you know who you are, who's been there for me over the past couple of months, making sure that um, I, 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 I get out of my funk and I'm able to continue to do that um, like today. And so, yeah, I appreciate you guys so much. I hope you all have um, a wonderful week. Beatrix is out sick today, so there will be no song sesh um, today. But um, my hope for you guys is to continue to grow. And those of you in New York, um, please come and support us. Um, we still have some RV RSVPs uh, available for um, next Sunday. So there will not be a sesh next Sunday uh, from 12 to 3 p.m. Eastern. I'll be um, um, hosting a workshop. So y'all can tune in if you go up on me, Mayor. And uh, slash we made that co slash MLK um, register. Uh, we have the online uh, version also on Zoom, so you guys can come and watch Zoom. You can learn, right? Um, I was I'm always making sure that any event I do, I record it. I want to stream these things so that those of you who may not be in New York are able to learn this information as well. And so we're gonna be talking about job training, uh, learn about the plant, learn about the different terpenes, different cannabinoids, and then after that at 1:45. PM, we talk about business, like how you can leverage your business, um, start from one person to go to you know, two or three, four employees, right? And then use that to get funding. And that's something we learned that, hey, unless you have employees, it's gonna be harder to get funding and grants, right? And to get employees, it's very easy. Um, it, it doesn't have to be full-time. So we'll talk about that on Sunday. So appreciate you guys so much. Have a wonderful day. Please download me, Mayor app. Mimea.co slash app. Have a wonderful Sunday. Have a rest of a wonderful week and happy New Year's. Uh -huh.